Hello guys, the GB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Green Pony versus GG Anto 1808, and this is going to be another DB match. This is actually a tourney match, um, but let's just go ahead and hop right in, and we are going to see GG Anto win the rock paper scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first. 42 versus 42. Opening hands, we got Rota, Nib, Imperm, Black Witch, Contain. They have Stained, Fenrir, uh, Ancient Cloak. Glory and then Droplet. So start off with special summon out Fenrir. Fenrir effect to go search. Grab out a Fenrir from the deck to the hand. And then Glory discarding itself plus Ancient Cloak. Go search and then draw. Which, you know, I feel like if you're trying to respect Droll more, you probably would have started with that if you weren't going to discard this anyways. Um, but they're gonna go ahead, search Sarcophagus, draw on the Veiler, and then Ancient Cloak, Banish, go search out Silent Boots, and then activate Sarcophagus, summon out Glory from the Graveyard, Sarcophagus, discard Fenrir, then go dump Happy, special summon out Happy, overlay into a number 90, but the opponent does have Imperm plus Nib, which is a dangerous combo that we've seen throughout the years that can make a lot of decks just fold. But normal stain, special boots, and then on the summon of boots that could stop them. I mean, their next summon's just Cherubini, right? Okay, they're going to activate Nib, Chain XYZ, Chain Imperm, so Tribute the Field, Pass Over the Token, and then they're going to go Silent Boots Effect, Banish, go Search, Grab Out a Fog Blade. Sure, then set Droplet, Fog Blade, Pass, they draw Turbulence, so they have Droplet, Fog Blade, Veiler, so three Interruptions, Special Out Black Witch by Sunning Contain, Black Witch Effect, Chain Fog Blade, and then Link Off in the Dark Charmer, Dark Charmer Effect, Take Glory, Chain Veiler onto that, and then Activate Rota, Rota Go Search Airlifter, and then Normal Airlifter Effect, Chaining droplets, send the king sarcophagus to shut that down. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, wait, never mind. It's just game. Yeah, because I forgot they discarded contain. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's just simple. I was gonna say because I'm pretty sure here, uh, you just make SP and then go like SP effect target the stained in their graveyard or target fog blade. Either way, you're trying to force out fog blade. And then you can just like SP beat over what they bring out. And like that's pretty decent. But then they still have the token. Or you could chain SP to out the token. And then leave the trap summon Phantom Knight on their field. But nope. We have Turbulence. Summon SP. Effect. Banish token. Turbulence. Banish. Special. The opponent admits defeat. They said yeah my hand was. Well our hand was nuts. They said yeah. But moving on to the next game. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see Phantom Knight go first. We got Rescue, Pankratops, Imperm, Emergency, Rota. We've seen Pankratops in like every side deck recently. This card is very powerful, especially in, you know, against SP Little Knight. They got Torn Scales, Silent Boots, Nib, Talents, and Seer. So they are playing the BA stuff. Normal Torn Scales, Special Boots. I'm pretty sure this is the first person I've seen play the BA stuff um, with like the Horus and all that. Then go up in the Cherubini, Cherubini, dump Ancient Cloak, Ancient Cloak, Banish, Search Out Stained. And then Torn Scales, Special Out from the Graveyard, okay, that's fine. Activate Stained, Special Out from the Hand, yup. Sadly, they don't have any hand traps that are monsters for Talons. And then go up in the Rusty, Rusty Effect, Chain Imperm on that. Torn Scales, Discard Seer, Dump Fog Blade. And then, just using Fog Blade there. Why would you not Seer summon out Cherubini? I thought that was like the whole point of doing it like that. But, going to Levier, the Sea Dragon, Sea Dragon effect, summon back out Ancient Cloak, Ancient Cloak on Rusty, make it gain 800, which also helps play around Pinker Tops. Uh, then activate Boots, Banish, go grab Fog Blade. Okay, link those off in the SP. And then set fog blade pass. Yeah, we could have just seer summoned out Cherubini and to be honest, just like left it on our field and the opponent is like forced to out it then. Or if we want to at some point, we could have SP banished Cherubini and then that's like guaranteed follow up that's coming back in the form of a 
uh, Link 2 that can dump a level 3 from Deck to Graver, which sounds like pretty good follow-up to me that just, like, comes back. But special out Pankertops, Battle Phase, try to attack over SP, and this is why Pankertops is, uh, you know, I wouldn't say blowing up as much, but people are playing it way more because of an interaction like this. And now they're going to chain SP to banish their own field, which is fine. Um, that's just tons of follow-up that they have. And then their opponent is in main phase 2. Rota goes search airlifter, normal airlifter, airlifter effect, goes search. And then in response, chain emergency. And you may wonder why they're doing this, but it's because the search off airlifter could change depending on if this emergency resolves or not. Like, if the opponent chains Ash, then our search could change to an emergency or something here. Um, so we're going to emergency, summon Hydrant, send Airlifter, Airlifter, grab Alert. Okay, and then Hydrant Effect, go search out Preventer. Um, that interaction, like the chain emergency, um, that was... I mean, that's obviously like a play that everybody should know, especially if you're playing Rescue Ace. But I remember uh, Steven Santoli talking about it in his regional deck profile a couple months back. And I definitely think it's something that everybody should think about when they're playing Rescue Ways, because that is a kind of common occurrence. Uh, activate Turbulence Effect, Banish, Special Out from the hand, Turbulence Effect to go set from the deck. Uh, so this is summon number four, Pankratops, Hydrant, Airlifter, Turbulence, yup, set four from the deck. Okay, or actually it's not even four, right? Yeah, because we have Alert and Rescue in the hand, so it's just set three. And then Activate Alert to go search Impulse. Um, then link off in the proxy F, activate preventer, banish, special out from the hand, proxy F effect, go up into mud dragon, and then preventer, summon back out airlifter. So, of course, here we are trying to go for an abyss dweller, and then set one, end phase. Wait, they actually let end phase happen? Huh? You have nib in hand. Why did we let end phase happen? No. Gosh, that's so crazy. Okay, there's actually no shot that we let end phase happen. One sec, I'll refresh. I think my field's frozen. Okay, now I see the field. Before it was just hydrant and turbulence. End of main phase two then. Activate nib. Okay, okay. Yep, I was gonna say, there's no shot that you don't drop nib against dweller. Pass, they draw tour guide. Okay, they play tour guide in their deck. Uh, draw phase, thinking, they said you're good. Main phase, rusty effect, goes dump. A ragged glove, set shade. They do not have a trap in the graveyard right now. And then activate the ancient cloak effect. Banish, go search out silent boots. And then activate torn scales to special summon out from the graveyard. Since that had left. Okay, then special boots. Now here they actually need to think. Because their next play can be like a break sword. Okay, they said it's fine. Go open the break sword. Rusty effect to pop. Chain impulse. Uh, and the pop was extinguish. So then they're going to bring out turbulence. Pop extinguish. Turbulence effect to pop. Uh, target the shade. Activate rescue. Target preventer. Then they said it's okay. I was going to say, if they chain SP to target Turbulence, we know that they have Emergency that they can chain, which is going to try to summon Hydrant probably, and then send Turbulence. Um, now they're going to summon out Preventer, Preventer Effect, Book of Moon, Break Sword, chain SP to banish Break Sword and Preventer, and then in response, they're just going to let that go through. So banish, banish, uh, normal summon out tour guide, Tour guide effects, summon graph, overlaying the break sword, but that graph doesn't do anything unless they play Skarm in their deck too, which I doubt. Uh, thinking on the break sword, summon, activate emergency, summon out preventer, send preventer, preventer, summon out hydrant, and then okay, waiting for the effect now. Break sword effect, chain contain onto it to shut that down. Activate talents to take control of. I, I was gonna say. The, oh, the token literally is just Dweller. Uh, so take Turbulence, beat over the token, attack Hydrant, um, attack that, and then Rusty, attack directly. 
and then we're gonna go turbulence plus nib to make an IP then silent boots banish ghost search uh, that's gonna grab out a phantom knights fog blade set fog blade ragged gloves banish go dump and then that's gonna dump a wings end phase bring out break sword preventer and then pass draw black witch and then green pony just submits defeat so on to game number three now we will see green pony go first we got d barrier nib emergency impulse airlifter okay d barrier sounds horrible they must have taken out something that was even worse than this then they have silent boots fog blade ash fenrir silent boots but i guess a lot of Phantom Knight players have been trying to end the game with like Raiders Knight upgrading, but they're gonna go Airlifter one, Emergency two, Chain Ash Blossom. It's, it's, it's literally, yo, that's literally the exact interaction I had brought up earlier. Nice. And then set Emergency D Barrier pass to draw another Fenrir, Special Fenrir, Fenrir effect goes search. Then. They said we can call a judge if you want because I cited the other one out. Oh, if you don't have a target, it's okay. So illegal activation, just continue. Okay, normal summon out boots. Wow, that's crazy. They drew both Fenrir and they only had two in their deck. Then special out boots, link off, go up in the Cherubini. And then enter the battle phase. Fenrir attack, end declares the effect. So now they're going to go emergency, summon fire engine, send. That was what? Like... Can, uh, can I, like, how? How? There's no shot, right? There's no shot, that's what just happened. Like, why did why did we play it like that? Why did we even activate the Fenrir effect to banish the airlifter face down? Cherubini dump Graph. Graph effect to go special out Seer. And then fire engine effects, summon out airlifter. Airlifter effect, go grab rescue. And then link off into a rusty seer effect, bring out Cherubini, and then I mean Nib is looking pretty good here. Yeah, Nib's looking pretty good here. And pass over the token to them. Yeah, they're gonna go silent boots, banish, go search, okay. Uh go grab out a fog blade. We know that they have a Fenrir in hand, set to fog blade, pass, they draw a wanted poster, activate it, go search out the black witch. Main phase, summon by sending D barrier, black witch effect, chain fog blade, and then link those two off into a dark charmer, dark charmer effect, take cherubini, and then we can link those off into an access code, access code effect, gang attack, activate fog blade on it, okay, uh, activate rescue, summon airlifter, that could have also went into SP, but maybe we're just trying to end the game, airlifter, search out emergency, and then activate emergency, summon hydrant, send airlifter, hydrant effect, go search turbulence, and then activate turbulence, banish go special, and then turbulence effect to go set from the deck, and then that can set alert, and then some trap cards, we went through all three emergency, and then alert to go search out preventer, mm-hmm. And then link off Hydrant Turbulence and the Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix, discard Impulse, pop Fog Blade, draw on the Judgment, access code, banish, pop the token, activate Preventer, banish to special summon out, and then battle phase. That's just not even game. So access code's at 23 again, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's just not game. But. We do attack for a good amount of damage there. And then main phase two, go for SP Little Knight, effect, banish Rusty from their graveyard. They're gonna activate Fog Blade, banish, summon out Rusty, and then set judgment, and then pass. But I guess, I was gonna say, I guess we didn't have game there, even if we tried. But that just makes you think maybe just maybe we could have started with SP over access code, but I guess maybe you start with access code and put the set on B something real. Otherwise, they just lose. Okay, they draw tour guide. And then they said main phase is fine. Rusty effect, chain contained, shut that down. Normal tour guide, then we judgment that summon, because we know the last card in hand is a cash. Pass, draw impulse, normal impulse. 
Um, then just go battle phase game. Um, they do get boots back, but it doesn't even matter. I was gonna say we don't even have to extinguish this, but yep, GG's, GG's. So GG's one turn too late. Well, it's not like this was uh really gonna do anything on this turn. I guess the turn before sure, but they wouldn't have played into Nib. Uh, they kind of. I mean, you did reveal the unknown in your hand. He you said, "Good luck in the next round." Same to you. Okay, so we see that the match was about 45 minutes long. So that is going to be it for the match. Yeah, the match was about to end anyways because of uh, could be because of time. Uh, time was actually about to end that match if they didn't end it. Yeah, because they were playing in the Kongs tournament, which I don't even know like what this like tournament organizer is but i've seen them on db and infinite amount hosting you'll see people going like all oh, kong's table 24 or whatever but all right with all that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe